Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. So, looking at the US there, you can see we've actually had a very, very strong move to the upside right there. Uh, a little bit of other positive momentum there to get to 17.747, a real rebound in the uh, in the US 30. But I guess the big news overnight was what we saw in Brent crude, which crashed 7.2, 7.3%. Uh, as the Iranian deal looks like it is potentially edging ever closer. You can just, just about see it on my chart right there, but we'll come back to there in a second. So what's happening with Greece? Uh, today's big meeting with the Eurozone ministers. Um, still lots of questions swirling around what's actually going to happen. The Greek finance minister yesterday resigned. Uh, apparently, um, Eurozone creditors, if, the, if things are going to get serious, don't want to have to negotiate with him. Um, but uh, today, I guess, in the day, most global markets uh, edging up ever so slightly. Germany 30, UK 100, just slightly up. Um, well, as you can see there, the, the, from the session yesterday, it was slightly up. Let's try to push higher a little bit today, being pushed right back down. This is the UK 100. On their own side of uh, 65, 89, with 64, 15 still being the potential support. The other technicals are still relatively neutral. To be honest, we should know more in just a small number of days as to what's happening with Greece. If they're going to be staying in the Eurozone, if they're going to have to uh, exit the Eurozone, if the ECB is going to continue to, lo to loan them money, they're still providing a tiny little bit of liquidity to their banks, but only just enough for them to keep going. Uh, and that's it. Moving on to Japan 25, moving up higher. Uh, Chinese stock markets finally managed to post a positive day today after um, after yesterday's uh, very volatile markets across there. Japan 25 moving up ever ever higher above both moving averages. Still a little while away from 20,868. Uh, with the other technicals relatively neutral, um, but at least it's above those moving averages and uh, maintaining the right direction. So looking at dollar yen, 122.73, an okay day yesterday, edging up a little bit higher just now, but still big question marks around the US dollar and future interest rate hikes, depending obviously what happens with Greece, how that's going to cause a lot of uh, issues, global demand, think about China as well. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see that the US dollar is trying to gain a little bit of extra strength there especially against the safe haven Japanese yen. So certainly I had a decent day yesterday. It's ever slightly higher today. We'll have to see how that continues on. And not a huge amount of economic data. There's a US trade balance data due at 1.30 uh, today, uh, UK time. So let's have a look at crude oil West Texas. Absolutely smashed yesterday. Really ugly technical move. Next support level, I guess you'd probably, you could maybe take this down here. Around about uh, 59.36 and that lets us go ahead. And uh, I kind of draw that on. And we've broken below that as well. You are pretty much looking at down here. Um, now, the Iranian deal just has a few more days to go through. There are still a lot of things that could cause it to uh, to, to, to fall apart. Apparently, still having issues over uh, sanctions around ballistic missile technology and whenever or not they're allowed to go ahead and look at that or not. Um, but if they are uh, going to get a deal, that would cause a lot of extra crude potentially for the market at a time where global demand questions are certainly being raised. So. Very ugly technical breakout yesterday with 49.39 on West Texas being the next potential plausible support level. Moving on to gold, grinding lower as ever, 11.37 as the next potential support. Other technicals are relatively neutral. There's not really much to report here. Gold is a bit of a funny one right now, to be completely honest. So, euro dollar not getting completely smashed as every thought it might do. Trading below one spot 11, which is negative uh, from a technical analysis perspective because trading below potential support. Next potential support, one spot 0786. The technicals, to be honest, are relatively um, meaningless at this stage with such a big fundamental factor hanging over this FX pair. You can look at the dollar as in how will the trade balance data do, do today if it comes out really, really good. We could see U dollar drop a little bit lower. If we hear anything more about what's happening with Greece and that's positive or negative, you might see an impact on that as well. So moving on to uh, GBP USD, resonating around about one spot 56. We managed to get above there last night, but we're back below there first thing this morning. I can see on the interday charts that it's just ticking down uh, relatively aggressively on the short term chart. You don't really see it that much on the on the daily chart, but on the interday chart, looking at uh, five minutes, one minutes or less, it's uh, basically straight down first thing this morning. Negative cross on the, on the MACD. Um, a number of sessions ago, we had negative technical signals from the RSI and the uh, slow stochastic. Um, but again, we do have uh, sterling and US dollar data that could have an impact. So today is trade balance. Uh, fast forward to Wednesday, crude oil inventories 
Thursday, not a huge amount, and uh, you can get a bit of an idea of where we are for Friday. So not a huge amount of other economic data due. It's all about Greece still and what's happening with China. So keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happens.